Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. So in this session of chemical equilibrium, we will look at some of the numerical examples for calculating Kp values. So let's start quickly. The first question which you have, the first example, says that for a given reaction PCl5 goes to PCl3 plus Cl2. Okay. So for this reaction you have 3 moles of PCl5 which are placed in a 100 liter vessel. So, okay, we have a container containing, okay, a container measuring 100 liter of volume. The equilibrium pressure is 2 atm and the temperature is 500 Kelvin. So, temperature, okay, which is always assumed constant will be 500 Kelvin throughout the reaction time. That is from T is equal to 0 till whatever time you want to perform the experiment. So, for calculating Kp, we know that the expression of Kp is simply going to be equal to partial pressure of PCl3 at equilibrium into partial pressure of Cl2 at equilibrium divided by partial pressure of PCl5. Okay, so how can we calculate partial pressure? We know a very accurate method of doing that. We know that partial pressure can be calculated as mole fractions multiplied with total pressure. So we just need to find out mole fractions at equilibrium. Let's see if we can do that. So, okay, writing the equation PCL5 going to PCL3 plus CL2. So, at T is equal to 0, assuming that I have 3 moles of PCL5 and no moles of PCL3 and CL2 because they have only given you PCL5 in the question. So, at equilibrium, by the time equilibrium is achieved, I can say that moles of PCL5 consumed is going to be 3 minus X moles of PCL3 is going to be X and that of chlorine will become X. Alright, so this means this means that total moles okay, at equilibrium is equal to 3 minus X plus X plus X which is 3 plus X. Right? And this means that at equilibrium the mole fraction of PCL5 will be 3 minus X divided by 3 plus X. Mole fraction of PCL3 will be X divided by 3 plus X. And mole fraction of chlorine will be X divided by 3 plus X. If I multiply these mole fractions, okay, with total pressure at equilibrium, alright. So, with this PT should be the total pressure of the container that is pressure inside the container at equilibrium not at T is equal to 0 okay you have to be very careful here PT should always be calculated at equilibrium because you are trying to find partial pressures at equilibrium not at T is equal to 0 PT might change with time okay in fact it is likely to change so PT multiplied with PT in order to get individual partial pressures now I simply substitute these values here in the expression of Kp and get my answer. Okay, But then my answer will be in terms of x and pt. So let's see if we know the values of these two variables. So first pt. Do I know the value of pt? So the equilibrium pressure is 2 atm. That means my total pressure pt that is the equilibrium pressure is given as 2 atmosphere. So I know the value of pt. Next. Do I know the value of X? No. X is what? The moles of PCL5 consume? I don't know that. Is there a way to calculate it? Yes, there is. What is that? So they have told me that at equilibrium, okay, the pressure is 2. Alright? That means I can say total pressure at equilibrium into volume of my container is going to be equal to total moles at equilibrium into R into T. Alright? So, this equation can be used to find the value of x. See, I already know that the value of Pt is 2. Value of volume of the container is 100 liter. So, this is going to be equal to total moles at equilibrium which is we have calculated here as 3 plus x into R. What should be the R value which I can take? So, pressure is in ATM, volume is in liter. That means the value of R will not be in SI. It will be 
this one 0 0.0821 it will be in liter atm per kelvin per mole and temperature value also has been given to me in the question which is 500 kelvin so from this equation i can very easily calculate the value of x okay and i can substitute that value of x over here okay in all of these three variables okay over here in all of these three expressions all right so simply substitute the value of x by calculating it from here and the value of pt to atm and then you can find your expression for kp you can get a exact magnitude exact value and what will be the units of kp so it is atm to the power delta n where delta n if you remember is stoichiometric coefficient of product minus stoichiometric coefficient of reactant so here it is 1 plus 1 minus 1 that is atm okay delta n has a value of 1 over here so units of kp will be atm atmosphere let's look at another example okay so in this example you have a reaction ibr going to i2 plus br2 okay the balanced chemical equation has been given to you and here 0.5 mole sample is taken in 0.2 liter vessel so this is initial amounts okay volume can be assumed to be constant all right since nothing is given it's probably a constant volume container and at equilibrium partial pressure of bromine is given to you okay. so how can we solve the question over here so this time let's use the other method okay since volume is constant temperature we can always take to be constant so let's use the method where instead of writing stoichiometric coefficients as molar ratios we will assume them to be pressure ratios so here i can say that at t is equal to zero partial pressure of my reactant is p naught and that of my products are zero and zero okay assuming there is no product at t is equal to zero then by the time equilibrium is achieved okay at t is equal to t equilibrium let's say p amount of or 2p amount of ibr is consumed that means p amount of i2 or bromine has been formed all right this means my value of kp will simply be equal to as the expression goes partial pressure of i2 into partial pressure of bromine divided by partial pressure of ibr reactant whole square okay so this partial pressure of i2 is now at t is equilibrium the value of p is p okay this into p divided by value of partial pressure of ibr becomes p naught minus 2p so this square all right so value expression of kp see how simply have we written it over here in comparison to what we did in the previous example this has been a lot simpler now we just need to find the value of p and p naught and we can directly get the answer for kp so let's see if those values are given p is what p is the partial pressure of i2 or bromine at equilibrium so they have already told us that at equilibrium partial pressure of bromine is found to be 3 atmosphere that means from here i can directly say the value of p is 3 atmosphere okay that means this p okay this p and this p are same right partial pressures of i2 and bromine are going to be same at equilibrium why because their stoichiometric coefficients are one in the one is to one ratio so this will also be 3 atmosphere okay and the partial pressure of ibr is p naught minus 2p here p again can be substituted as 3 so 2 into 3 6 okay so i know that value so this is 3 square divided by p naught minus 2p which becomes 6 square now do i know the value of p naught p naught is what it is the initial pressure of ibr okay that is it is the pressure of ibr at t is equal to zero so they have not directly given us that value in the question but once again we can use the equation pv is equal to nrt in order to calculate p naught so p naught is initial pressure 
और पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ आई बी आर सो पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ आई बी आर इन टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ कंटेनर इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू मोल्स ऑफ आई बी आर ओके ओनली एंड ओनली ऑफ आई बी आर लेट्स एंड नॉट इन टू आर इन टू टी सो इनिशियल प्रेशर इन टू वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू इनिशियल मोल्स इन टू आर इन टू टी एंड इनिशियल मोल्स ऑफ आई बी आर आर पॉइंट फाइव ओके द वैल्यू ऑफ आर वंस अगेन सिंस वी आर डिस्कसिंग एवरीथिंग इन लीटर ए टी एम इट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट टू वन एंड टेम्परेचर ऑफ द कंटेनर इज अगेन फाइव हंड्रेड कैलविन सो दिस ओके डिवाइडेड बाई वॉल्यूम ऑफ द कंटेनर इज पॉइंट टू लीटर ओके सो सॉल्विंग दिस विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ पी नॉट ओके एंड वंस यू हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ पी नॉट यू कैन सिंपली सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू ओवर हियर एंड गेट योर आंसर फॉर KP. Okay, so see the questions are going to be only of this format. Sometimes they will change. Okay, they will give you the value of KP and ask you to calculate either partial pressure at equilibrium or initial pressure or moles. Okay, something like that. But the basic concept, the basic funda will always remain the same. Okay, as we go along in the next few sessions. we will also look at heterogeneous equilibrium and then we will also look at some equilibriums where amount of product initially is not zero okay that is where we will have to use reaction quotient to find out how the reaction will proceed further on okay so keep an eye for those sessions they are going to be quite important but until then thanks for watching edupedia world videos